Just when you thought the Honda Navi couldn't get any cooler, more fun, or more convenient, some guy named Birch from the internet stepped in to prove you wrong. That's me, by the way. I'm Birch, if you haven't seen the channel before. Today we have three mods for the Honda Navi that are not only going to make this bike cooler, more fun, and more convenient, but it also goes with the theme of how cheap these bikes are because every single one of these mods is less than 50 bucks. Speaking of convenience, did I mention that all of these mods fit conveniently in the storage compartment of the Navi so we don't even have to do this from home, we can do it with a view. Perfect. Welcome back to Life of Birch. This is Birch, and that's right, within this storage compartment, we have all three of the mods and everything that we need to put them on. It really is that simple, and they really are all under 50 bucks. Shout out my late night Amazon searches for providing all of this for us, and I guess that also goes along with the convenience because all of them are from Amazon, and all of them can be here within two days. All right, so first up, what do we got? Ooh, we'll start off with this one because this is not only one of my favorites, but I also already put it together because I was too excited. <laughs> so here we have the Kemimoto cup holder, and like I said, I was just too excited, and I had to put this thing together, so I had have already put it on just to make sure that it fit. It's universal. It's going to work great. And I am stoked on this. So when this comes in, it's not fully put together like this. The little claw is off of it. But all you got to do is pull up this little Velcro strip right here that covers the bolt heads, line the claw up, put the bolt in and use their provided tool to screw it on and then put the little Velcro strip back down to cover the bolt so you don't scratch your bike or not your bike. I mean, whatever you put in here, it really is that simple. And this thing is so sweet because when I was looking at it on Amazon, it looked like it was going to be soft. Like you can see that it looks all fabricy and everything, but it's like actually pretty solid and it's like has something in there to keep it form so this thing is looking freaking sick and I also tested it out I already put like my keys or my knife or something in this little side pouch and shook it around and once you put something in there or in here it's not going anywhere it's also really nice because it has a hole in the bottom there so if your drink is perspiring you like that word perspiring not sweating because we're fancy if your drink is perspiring it can just drip out the bottom instead of like making a puddle in there so this thing's freaking sweet and look at how easy it is to put on so all you do is unscrew this knob so the claw opens up and then it comes with this rubber pad right here that goes in between the metal metal claw and your bars so that nothing gets scratched. You just unscrew it enough that it'll go over your bars like so. Line everything up and tighten it down. Now before you tighten it down all the way, you're obviously going to want to turn the bars, make sure that there's no contact. So that should be good right there. And then just crank that sucker down as far as you can get it. All right, so that's cranked down and good to go. And then I'll show you how it works. Oh, that was a sneak peek of the next one. Take your green tee right there, put it in, got a drawstring to keep it in place and you are good to go. And that thing holds up to, I think like a 32 ounce container or something like that. Like I have a big ass metal water bottle and I put it in there and it held it just fine. And it holds it in there real nice. We're going to test that out in just a bit. All right. So within a couple minutes, we already got mod one down. And what is mod number two? Let's dig in here and see what we can find. And Shazam, this bad boy is actually made by the same company. Come, Dude, I keep doing that. Oh my God. If I have to do another freaking take of this, I keep almost saying Komodo vlogs because that's my girlfriend's YouTube channel. But the company's name is Kemi Moto. I feel like I got to say it three times just so I can remember and stop slipping up. Kemi Moto, Kemi Moto. Kemimoto. I found their uh, Amazon page and they make so much freaking stuff for just scooters, bikes, UTVs, everything. And this is one of their universal handlebar bags. And I saw it and I was like, you know what? I bet I could rig that up on the Navi. But spoiler alert, it would not fit on the bars. I mean, it would, but it would block the speedometer and everything. So I opted not to go that route, but check out the way that I got it to work. Actually, first, let me show you some features of it. So it has these nifty little like uh, zipper pulls right here that make it easy for when you have gloves on to go ahead and open it up. I might take those off just because it doesn't really match the green, but it would look sick with the red Navi. And then this front pouch right here is like soft lines. You can put your phone or your sunglasses or something that you don't want getting scratched in there. And then the bigger pocket, if we open that up, um, ooh, I'll talk about that in a second. Let me get that out of the way. It's lined with orange, which is awesome, not only because it's my, you know, channel colors, Life of Birch Orange, but also because it's super bright orange. So if you're looking in there and it's dark out, it's easy to see stuff because you can see the orange around your items. Got the bigger zipper right there that you can put stuff in. You got the smaller pocket there, medium pocket there, and then the smallest pocket right there for like a lighter or something like that. So you get tons and tons of storage in there. This thing is freaking sick. You can see that you got like all the moly attachments here. So you have like these extra straps that you can put down if you want to like strap an extra fuel bottle to the bottom or something like that. Oh yeah. And it did have this American flag logo right here, but it wasn't really my style. Oh, that's backwards. American flag logo right there. It wasn't really my style. So I just took the stitching out. And then it also has all of the moly straps on the back. So you can attach it to your handlebars attach it however you want. And then the coolest part is this strap right here. So you can use it as a handlebar bag or how I'm going to show you to do it. And then once you get to where you're going, you can just take this bad boy 
clip it on there clip it on there and then you got yourself a little fanny pack you can rock it as a fanny pack if you want or you can make this strap bigger and you could use it as like a crossbody so this is awesome for especially when Nina my girlfriend ends up using the Navi since I mean it is technically hers she can use this to store all of her stuff pop it off and use it as like a little purse freaking perfect dude oh and I almost forgot to mention one of the reasons why I love this the most and that's because I hate the fact that for this little storage compartment you have to use the same key that you use for the ignition so if I pull up somewhere and I want to leave the bike running and like say my phone is in there and I need my phone to use Apple Pay now I have to turn the freaking bike off use the key to get my phone out put my phone back lock it back up and then restart it with this I have a little compartment for my phone or anything that I need to access easily access easily easily access what was I doing there but yeah long story short easy access you can take it with you it's awesome but what's even more awesome is where I figured out that we could put it because like I said it doesn't work as a handlebar bag but I like it way more how I figured out how to do it you ready for this makeshift saddlebag are you kidding me and it's like on there too this is friggin awesome I almost want to buy a second one and actually make it look like saddlebags you know what I mean but for now just the one will do how sick is that though like it's held on by three different velcro points so it's held on here by two things and then held on by the end here but this one won't let it slide down enough that this one comes off the end you know what I mean so it's friggin like on there dude that thing is so badass and check this out I'll take my phone I'll put it in there and I'm gonna trust my phone's life with this because like I said in a bit we're testing out all the mods and when I say testing them out I mean testing them out so my phone is on the line if this thing doesn't work stay tuned but yeah how sick is this even with like a full like capacity it won't even hang down far enough to hit the license plate or the uh, turn signal there it like almost feels like this was literally designed as a saddlebag for the Navi now like I said it has these velcro straps on the back that hold it on so it's super easy to take those off if you want to use the uh, fanny pack or crossbody whatever strap right here or if you want it to be a more secure thing where nobody can like take it if you're gonna leave it on the bike for a long term you could literally just run a zip tie through there and zip tie it so that nobody can take it off so it could be permanent or temporary either way that thing is sick you like that falsetto and then we'll check out what the last modification is which you might notice there's actually tools in here also this one actually requires a bit of install whereas these are just like you know pop them on but like I said it's all about convenience I wouldn't steer you wrong it's gonna be super easy to put this on too well I hope I haven't actually tested it yet all right so we got these that doesn't really give it away but then we got what is this right here we got a windscreen this I am very excited about also because you may know the Honda OEM windscreen is like 80 bucks but they're impossible to find so not only can you not find them and they're 80 bucks and a pain in the ass to install because you got to take off like the entire headlights surround but because they're so hard to find if you can find them they're most likely getting resold for a hundred plus dollars this is a universal windscreen that I've already tried out on my rebel 1100 so I know it's great and best part it was only 20 bucks let's check it out and get it thrown on since this one has all the little parts I'll throw it on this table right here so we can see it better and make sure that we don't lose anything first things first we have the windscreen itself right here looking so good if you've been watching the channel you know that I ran this exact same one on my rebel 1100 and I loved it for the price it's great it deflects wind it looks good it covers up all the wires up front so I'm hoping for the exact same results on the Navi so if everything goes according to plan it should sit just like that which would look freaking great like I said it hides all those wires right there should deflect some wind for the crazy 50 miles per hour that we're doing and it just looks freaking badass so hopefully it works out the way that I think it will and I said universal this one is actually designed for a Triumph Bonneville from 01 to 17 or 03 to 17 for the T100 and I got this one because it looks like these brackets should work pretty well the brackets for my Rebel 1100 didn't work because they like hooked up a different way I, it's hard to describe but these go on right there and then just come straight down so I figured that you know a bracket that just comes straight down is our best shot at getting this to work so then of course it also comes with all of the hardware needed to put the bracket onto the windscreen and then all that we were missing was the hardware to actually attach the bracket to the bike so that's what these are and I'll talk about these more when we go to put it on the bike itself for now let's go ahead and put the brackets on the windscreen so like I said we got all of the hardware right here and all that we're gonna need to do is take one of the bolts put one of the washers through it put that through the windscreen put the bracket through that another washer a nut and then hand tighten it all do that for all four and then we'll tighten it all the way down all right so everything is hand tightened you can see that for the brackets you want the uh, inward part facing inward if that makes sense you see what I mean and then we're just gonna take our somewhere in here over here five millimeter allen key hi puppy <laughs> hi <laughs> five millimeter allen key and a 10 millimeter wrench and just tighten everything down with the bracket pulled all the way to the bottom how's it going 
<laughs> I snuck down here because they're doing construction at my condo and I'm making an install video and I figured this would be a great view. <laughs> Oh no, you're good. That's a cool little bike. Yeah, it's the new Honda Navi. So it's technically a motorcycle because it's over 50 cc's, but it's automatic like a scooter. It has a little storage compartment underneath it. It's super convenient. How many cc's is it? 110. 110. What kind of money one of those things cost? So they're 1800 bucks brand new, but but obviously there's like all of the dealer fees and everything so i paid 29.35 out the door for it Ow, get out of here. <laughs> i didn't even realize you were up there i was looking under the table <laughs> remember what my uncle said when i got a motorcycle way back when what's that stay on top yep that's right <laughs> if you're not you're doing something wrong yeah. all right have a good one. It was good chatting with you. That was funny. I love interactions like that. I swear I have more conversations started with the uh, mini motos than I do with the full size bikes. I just love talking bikes with anybody, honestly. All right. So during that conversation, we got everything tightened down all the way. My only complaint is that it would be nice to have black bolts, but for 20 bucks, what can you do? Maybe I'll buy some black ones. But now the moment of truth, because I haven't even lined this thing up yet to see if it'll fit around the headlights around. So we'll see if it does. Oh, damn, dude. That's literally freaking perfect. Are you kidding? Dude, are you kidding me? That's literally freaking perfect. All right, well, now that we know that that works, I'll talk about what these are right here. So if you look over here, you can see that those screws on the side are recessed. So I needed some spacers to bring it out flush. And these were actually a little bit longer originally, but I ground them down with my Dremel so that it should hopefully sit perfectly flush with the side of that. And speaking of convenience, these things I actually already had because I have this box called A Few Loose Screws. Literally, I got it like months ago because because I was installing a TV on my wall and this is designed as a TV hanging kit that has just a bunch of like 20 or 30 or 50 or something like that screws and spacers and stuff and I've used it for so much more than just the TV and I literally got all of these from there so I'll link that below too because I got it from Amazon but if not you could just go to your local hardware store and I want to say that by the time they were cut down these spacers probably ended up being about 15 millimeters long and then each of these bolts is an M5 these are actually 35 millimeters long you could probably get away with a 25 but these will still fit and then you just got another little washer on the end there. So here is the idea as to how it's going to work. We're just going to take each of the screws out of the side of the headlight and this one as well. And then we'll take this spacer and you can see it fits right in there and literally ends up sitting perfectly flush with the outside of the headlight. Cut it down to the perfect size and then we'll just stick the bolt through there. Tighten it down just a bit but not all the way. And same thing for this side. Dude, that's literally perfect. Are you kidding me? What the hell? I couldn't have asked for a better fit. And this is allegedly for a Triumph or whatever. This is great. All right, so I'm going to pull it all the way up so that it's at the bottom of the bracket and we know that it's at the same height on both sides. And then we'll just tighten it down. All right, let's check this thing out. Dude, are you kidding me? This is so freaking dope. This is literally perfect. It looks like it was made for this bike. The thing that gave me this idea is the fact that I've seen on the Honda Navi Facebook group, lots of people using different um, universal windscreens. I can't even talk. Cause I'm just like soaking in how freaking sick this is. Oh, hello, another puppy. <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> come here. <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. All right. I keep getting distracted by woofers. Anyway, lots of people on the Facebook group have used a different universal windscreen, but I didn't like that one because it was a little bit wider and lower. This one is freaking perfect. Damn, this is sick. And because it comes up a little bit, you can adjust it whether you want it going back like that or further forward. Like you can actually adjust how the wind hits you. This is freaking dope, dude. All right, I want to test this out. Let's get it tightened down all the way. How's it going? It's popping off down here. All right, I think I like that angle, maybe a little bit further forward, and then we'll tighten it down. Bye. Thank you, I appreciate it. You too, thank you. What a nice lady. All right, everything is tightened down all the way, nice and secure, and it's looking friggin' perfect, dude. These three mods literally set off this bike so well. I can't get over it, especially for the price. Are you kidding me? So freaking dope, dude. And even at that angle, if you wanted to bring this down a bit to like close that gap, you could, but I'm just gonna leave it up there for the testing. But speaking of testing, it's finally time to put these things to the test, make sure they perform the way that we want, and make sure that they're on there nice and good. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know exactly what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, that's a drop off. Oh my God, that was almost bad. I can't even look to see if the green tea. Ooh, th there's a tree over the path. I guess we'll go this way. The green tea is still there. Okay, if I get out of this, dude, the Navi is the greatest vehicle ever. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that hurt. Oh. Oh, let's freaking go, baby. Are you kidding me? That was crazy. <laughs> okay, let's pull off up here and do a uh, damage report. All right, this seems like a lovely little spot with these nice trees to stop and do a damage report slash check to see how everything did. All right, so first things first, green tea is still in there. So if it can live through that, it can live through anything. This drawstring did come a little bit loose, but the bottle's pretty small for what this is. And do you really expect that to stay tight when you're freaking off-roading? So yeah, if it can survive that, it can survive your daily commute easily. This is still on there strong. Velcro's not even coming undone. And you can see phone's still in there. Phone is still good to go. And then this windscreen didn't move at all. Like it is still sturdy and in place. Like I said, if it can survive freaking that and all those bumps, it can survive this whopping 50 miles per hour wind that we'll be putting it up against. And uh, overall, everything did freaking great. Honestly, this windscreen, it's hard to tell if it blocks that much wind. Even before I got to that off-roading spot, I was doing speeds of like 40 plus and I think it gets rid of the wind a little bit and the only way that I can tell is the same way that I could tell with my Rebel 1100 which is the fact that the whistling in my helmet went away with my visor open under like 30. So I could tell that the wind was being directed somewhere else but honestly as far as like feeling a difference on your chest or on your helmet or anything it's not that big of a difference because like I said the most you're doing on this bad boy is 50. But for 20 bucks damn does it look good. If I'm remembering correctly this was 20 bucks this was 30 and this was 50. I can't exactly remember, but either way, all of this together was under 100 bucks, if I'm remembering correctly, and it is so freaking worth it. Links are in the description, and I'll talk to the people who make them and see if I can get y'all some discount codes, and that'll be down there as well. And I think we do have a casualty. Damn it, man. How did I not see that at first? I didn't even show you guys this yet. I found these uh, gray Honda logos that are actually from a... I forget what they're from, but I got them from my VFR 750, and they match this gray almost perfectly, but when that stick smacked me, it f***ed it up. Damn. Damn, it scratched that too. Oh, Nina's gonna be so pissed. All right, well, we traded off the three best under $50 mods for a couple scratches. Hopefully, she'll let me live. And hopefully, this was the best test possible for these. Go grab yourself some. Link in the description. Shout out the Patreon members for making all this possible. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, so basic. Hope you play this. Damn, I prayed it. Nice song, yeah. I be Candace, all souls fake it, pay those hey, placements, hey, fuck hey. And I'm still waiting on the brighter day It's been a minute, been rough many times more And I'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray Praying hard, talk to me for I'm done for